so guys in this video i am going to show you how to install inter graphics in a arch linux machine so let's get started first of all uh, you have to get some of the man pages of arch linux uh, first of all uh, you have to go to google then search um uh, intel graphics arch then you'll be redirected to wiki uh, or you'll get a suggestion of wiki whatever it gives you so after that uh, if you want you can read this wiki uh, the abstract is that uh, you have to install some of the packages like uh, x86 video intel then misa lib uh, gl then uh, lib32 misa gl if you have a multi lib uh, installed and also misa okay uh, if you play games in the computer uh, you may want to install uh, vulkan also so you just install this package also okay um, after that uh, if everything is configured uh, we can just go to xr configuration uh, then you have to edit this file uh, and you have to uh, save these details into the file uh, actually if you are using a skylight browser uh, you have to do one more thing that is yeah right here you can see that uh, option dri is false uh, you have to enable that uh, sorry you have to add that line also uh, that will uh, make tearing effect and all that uh, sort of jazz which is appearing on the skylight process uh, disappear then uh, there is nothing to install and sometimes it will not work so also uh, you have to know how uh, how to know if the graphics is working right so for that uh, we have to type in the command va info uh, in the CA info, we can see that I am having an Intel i965 driver for Intel Skylake. Uh, my processor is Intel Core i7 600 It's basically Skylake, so they will install for that. Uh, basically, that don't matter. Uh, every everything is uh, normally detected by itself. Uh, the only thing is that you have to install the graphics driver. Next thing you have to do is. Uh, XO uh, Intel Graphics Arch. Then you'll be getting an another XO Arch wiki. Then go to that. Uh, then you can see that there is uh, these packages which are needed for that that we have pre-installed right now. Now we can see that there is an. Uh, another need for XO drivers just install that uh, then if you want uh, more support for um, visa and something like that then you can install this also uh, that is for uh, other chipset types and also you have to uh, be having installed uh, XO server and uh, XO server utilities uh, most probably if you have installed XO uh, you'll be having all that sort of just uh, after that uh, you have to do nothing just reboot the computer and it will be working as usual then uh, after rebooting your PC uh, you have to uh, like uh, know how much load your graphics is currently handling for that uh, there is another command uh, that is intel gpu top actually uh, for intel gpu top to work uh, you have to install intel gpu tools using pacman pacman minus s uh, intel gpu tools that will do the business 
since I have installed it already it is reinstalling that for me anyway after that uh, you will be getting two commands that is Intel GPU uh, top and also uh, another one that I don't remember anyway uh, you can see if any application is using uh, the GPU you will be getting a load on the GPU like we uh, like that way you can uh, uh, you can uh, confirm that uh, your driver has been successfully installed so that's all for this video thank you